Hi, I'm Sean with Hawaii Information Service. In this video, we're going to be covering how to enter a contact and prospect. For best results, please watch this video in full screen and in high resolution. On YouTube, you'll find these controls in the lower right hand corner of the video player. Well, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up contacts and then we're going to click on the contacts right here. So we're going to go over the contacts page first. So there's really little difference between a contact and a prospect. A contact will become a prospect once you um, add a search parameter to it. So you're going to be entering your prospects um, through this contacts page as well, which we're going to go over in a little bit. So first, um, a little bit about this contacts page. Um, it should look somewhat similar to Research 5, those of you familiar with Research 5. Uh, we've added um, these little alphabet ranges so you can um, narrow your contacts list down using these little buttons here. Any of the contacts with a magnifying glass next to it um, just indicates that they are a current prospect. Using this drop down list uh, we can filter out this contacts list to show only prospects or show prospects by their ID numbers or we can show just particular groups. And by groups, um, we can build groups uh, using this little button here. If we click here, we can name the group, we can add a description, and then we can also add contacts into this group and save the group from this save group button. This email options will allow you to set the notification schedule of when you want your groups to be emailed. So we can say never, we can say email immediately or a certain time. So back to our contacts page, uh, we're gonna be entering a contact from this page here. We can click new contact. I can put a name, just gonna put my own name in. Um, street address. put our information like this. If you want to add a prospect, we of course need to have an email address since the results will be emailed to your client. So we can go over the different tabs. If you have personal information you want to put in here, you can do that. Company information, I'm not going to put anything in here. So this history tab, this this only pertains to prospects, so anything the system sends out to that co that client will show up here. So there's going to be just a list of uh, every email that's been sent out. And so once we're finished, we can just click Save Contact. So we can go back to that contact, and if we want to create a prospect from that contact, what we can do now is go over to that Prospect tab. We can click New. It's going to take you through this prospect wizard. So first we're going to enter the search parameters in. Just going to put in some parameters. We can click search to see if there's any results. If you like the if you like that search, we can uh, just go ahead and click next. If you want to make any changes, we can go we can go ahead and go back and click edit search. If not, we can just go ahead and click save. And you're going to notice uh, it's going to tell you it's saved and it's going to tell you the amount of matches they had. So now um, let's go at actually go into this prospect section here. So this prospect section just shows you your list of prospects. So right now it has the name, it has the search parameters, it tells you the amount of matches, when the prospect expires, and the notification schedule. If we click this edit button, we can add a search parameter from here, we can edit the search parameter, or we can renew the prospect. Oh, and also delete this prospect. Um, a little icon here, is going to tell you that. So if it's black, it tells you just too many matches. Um, we have a little legend up here. So if it's if you see this little icon in this color, you're gonna you're gonna know that it's about to expire, and you're gonna have to click uh, here to renew. And if you see it uh, in this color, 
you're just going to know that the prospect opted out. In other words, um, when they received your email, they chose to say prospect opt out, which means they don't want to receive the emails anymore. So we can click edit. I'm just going to um, edit a search parameter. So this one right now, let's just go over this one. So this one has too many matches. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click edit. I'm going to edit this parameter. And I'm just going to narrow it down a little bit more so it's a little bit less. Ninety-five is still too much. Um, let's try just So we have seven, uh, five matches. So that's good. I just go ahead and click next, and I'll save. So if we go back to the prospect tab, we have only five matches now. OK, and if we wanted to add another search parameter to this current contact, we can just click Add New Search. Type in a different parameter. Next. And save. So now that particular client is going to have two different searches sent to him. All right, um, that's about it for the contacts and prospects section. Uh, my name is Sean from Hoy Information Service. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.